Hey guys, Bobby here. And if you've got a Sony camera that you're using to film weddings, commercials, or anything else, and you wanna be able to quickly switch between settings and make the most of the mode dial, then this video is for you. That's right, it's another Sony Cinema Quick Tips video for you, and this one we are focusing on the mode dial. I'll be showing you on a Sony a6500, but it will be similar if not the same on most recent Sony camera models like the a7 III, a7R series, or a7S series, among others. And real quick, if you like this video or you wanna see more videos like it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Make sure to also hit the notification bell to be the first to see new posts. Now, when I'm filming a wedding especially, I need to be able to switch between different settings that I need, and I can't waste time doing so. Lucky for us, the mode dial helps with exactly this by letting us easily build custom camera profiles that we can quickly switch in and out of. The three modes that I make use of for my wedding filmmaking needs are the movie mode, custom one, and custom two. And while you can set them to anything, I use them to easily switch between a variety of frame rates and resolutions. I have my movie mode set to 1080p, 24 frames per second, 150 of shutter, and 160 ISO. And this is for most of my filming and anything with audio that I might need to sync up. Custom one is set to 4K at 30 frames per second, 160 of shutter, and 160 ISO. This is higher resolution since we edit in a 24p timeline and gives me the option to slow it down a bit if need be. And lastly is custom 2 which is set to 1080p, 60 frames per second, 1 1 20th shutter and 160 ISO for slow motion. I also have other settings saved within these that I use no matter what frame rate or resolution I am shooting. To set these different modes you'll go into the menu, choose your desired resolution and frame rate and any other settings you might want pop out of the menu system to set your shutter and ISO, go back into the menu and find the memory button, click into it and then select the mode that you want to assign it to, in this case, custom one. Also an important note is that custom one and two will always revert back to these settings when you switch to another mode and come back, even if you've already made changes while filming. But movie mode will not revert back to these settings as it technically isn't a custom profile. So think about your top three groups of settings, spread them out across these three different custom mode setups and save yourself some time and stress when switching between different shooting settings. Also, if you want to dive more into the available settings for Sony cameras, check out my video on the best Sony custom button settings, which I will link here. So that's it guys, another Sony Cinema Quick Tips video, this time focusing on the mode dial. If you have any questions about any of this, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And as always, I'd love to have you subscribe for more videos like this in the future.